Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you Nicholsworth and today from Baronius Press we have the large size Douay Rames and this thing is nice. We have one in the white genuine leather and one in the black genuine leather. Now, me being fully honest, I don't believe this is actually genuine, genuine leather. I'm pretty sure this is bonded leather and it's definitely got a stamped grain on it. It could be a cheaper, lower end genuine leather, like a pigskin or something like that, but it does look bonded to me. So when you look at the cover, you can see the Holy Bible written very large on the cover. Um, I'm kind of indifferent about that because it's also on the spine. I don't consider it completely necessary, but I also don't have a problem with it. I do like the stitching here. I wish they would have kind of went with a black stitching just to kind of give it that accent look. Really nice spine work. It's got some tooled hubs on the spine, the Baronius Press logo, Dewey Rames Holy Bible, same with the black cover. One thing I really feel Baronius Press can improve on is their ribbons. Those ribbons are just, they're just not very good. They are very easy to replace. I've actually done ribbon replacements on some Baronius Press stuff before, but if you like the white, this is nice. If you like the black, this is nice. I'm actually currently reading the Douay Rames and I am in the book of Proverbs. And I have actually been writing in this one. And I did several pen tests. This is a Pigma Micron. And when you look on the back, it doesn't really bleed, but it ghosts pretty bad. And then I used a Sharpie pen. And when you look on the back of that one, it doesn't really bleed through, but it does ghost pretty bad. So then I tried just a regular ballpoint pen with a highlighter. And when you flip it over, you can see the highlighter does bleed through, but the ballpoint pen doesn't. So that's what I've stuck with. This is a double column layout. This looks to be at minimum a 10 point font, but it could be an 11. I had trouble finding that out. It has your textual notes on the bottom, and then it has Bishop Challoner's study notes below your textual notes. It is nice and well out of the gutter. This is a pretty large footprint in comparison to the hand size or the smaller size. Now this is actually a Knox Bible because I had my Baronius Press Douay Rames regular print rebound, but you can see it's about an inch and a half bigger all the way around. It appears to be about the same thickness. It's This is probably eighth of an inch thicker. So this is thicker, it is bigger, but it also gives you a bigger font. This is the standard size. I actually had this one rebound by ICA in ostrich leg and museum calfskin. So now let's compare the two blocks because these are the exact same blocks. And as you can see, they're paginated the same. They're laid out the same. This one is just much larger. So if you struggle to see these kind of mid-sized text, this looks to be about a seven or an eight, somewhere in that range. And again, these are just guesses because I'm not entirely sure but you can see clearly this is a much larger, much more readable font, but you can also see this is a much larger footprint. So this one's gonna be heavier, it's gonna be bigger, but you're also going to get that bigger font and it's gonna be paginated the same. This is a beautiful layout. I don't know the GSM of this paper, but I'm gonna say this feels, just according to my judgment, pretty close to a 40 GSM paper. It is at least in the 33, 36 range. It's line matched, beautifully laid out. It's all been retype set to kind of look like the old version of the Douay Rames, but more modernized and easier to read. And then when you get to the back, of course, this is gonna be a black letter. It is also a sewn binding. When you get to the back after the apocalypse, which we know as Revelation, as Protestants, you're gonna have your historical indexes, and then you're going to have your maps. And these maps have been digitized to look like the maps that would have been in their original Douay Rames. So this is very well done, a very excellent addition. One thing I would love to see Baronius Press do is to offer one of these in a better cover, something that has more high end, like maybe a goat skin or maybe a cowhide and really give this one the extra attention that it deserves because this is a beautiful addition. Both of them are beautiful. If you want the mid-size, then it's a beautiful addition. If you want the large size, it's a beautiful addition. Also, the Knox version, it has the same cover, similar layout to the mid-size one here. And this one is in single column with Knox's notes on the bottom. Also has the leather. I actually did a ribbon replacement on these. You can see these are very nice ribbons that you can use to replace some of these little kind of dinky ones that they have. I absolutely love Baronius Press's Bibles. I really think they do a beautiful job on their layouts. I'd love to see them make some improvements to their covers. 
God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your nickel's worth.